Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Rising and Venus placement. And it's going to be a bonus for the month of October. You know to always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising Moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. It's not always going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. So at times where you feel like you need clarity, guidance, answers, you can click on the link below to my Etsy shop. It'll take you right over there. I offer a variety of readings um, that are currently on sale until the end of October. And I am still doing that giveaway. So for anyone new subscribers and returning, but you need to be a subscriber, let me know if you're new or returning and let me know what your favorite season is down below in the, in the comment section, your favorite season and why. Um, I am randomly choosing 12 people for a free 15 to 20 minute reading. They can choose love, um, messages from spirit, or general reading. And you will be hearing from me at the end of October. I have started currently picking names, so I've reached out to three people already to have gotten back to me. So if you have left a message, do start checking. Check your notifications on YouTube. I might be responding and I need to know. I need you to go over to my for those of you that hear from me, go over to my Etsy shop, um, which is Lotus444. Well, the link is below. You just click on that. Go over to my Etsy shop and leave me a message that I wrote to you and what reading you want. If you want love, I need to know your date of birth and the person you're inquiring about, if it's one, one person specifically, their name and their date of birth. But if it's for general or messages from spirit, just your date of birth and your email, how you want to receive it. Once you connect with me through Etsy, I can send you the video through there. So if that's what you would like, that's fine. All right. Let's see, Gemini. Lantern Fairy 24. A clear solution. And shallow grave. You miss someone. 29. Who are you missing, Gemini? Gemini. I feel like you're going to find a clear path to them. It's like the hangman energy right there in the lantern is wish fulfillment. So it's like you're fo you're following your lantern to your star, your wish fulfillment. It might be this person that you're missing. Judication. Any of you that might have legal things out there could be turning in your favor. Despair. Despair over missing this person. Despair that you are in the legal system. For those of you that it resonates, I truly feel don't have despair. I feel like it's going to turn out. An ending of someone that you're missing. Oh, wow. Gemini, who are you missing? This is my rising sign. All right, let's see, guys. No, no, I'm sorry. Look at that. Two of cups at the bottom. So there is love on the horizon for you. There is a connection. What is Gemini's energy spirit? Yeah, you are definitely in your head about someone. Sleepless nights. What is the current situation? Could have been somebody was holding back from you. What is blocking the current situation? If this hasn't happened yet, it could be happening. Well, I got to tell you, what's blocking it is definitely, you know, could be a Leo or fire energy. They could have earth in their chart. 
but there's happiness. There's going to be something that, it, like a change in the energy. The sun is the happiest card of the deck. I feel like someone could be traveling towards you, if not in this, like very soon, but in the near future, traveling towards you, wanting better memories ahead. I feel like you're missing this per missing someone and this person is traveling towards you. What is spirit, the past energy for Gemini? Past energy for Gemini. Ace of Coins. I feel like this younger water sign, or they have water in their chart, like I said, water, fire, earth. You know, they offered you this connection. They offered you abundance. But I feel like they really, they walked away. You saw abundance with them. You saw that this could really go somewhere. And now you're feeling like the wounded warrior. You're watching this person walk away. You're feeling burdened by it. What is in the future for Gemini? This person that walked away, that caused this hard ending, or had you walk away from them. But I feel like they might have done the walking away. I do feel like they were in this energy. I feel like they are returning towards you. Um, but then again, they're still in that light of wands energy. They might not have made you a priority. You know, as fast as the night rushes in to have romance, sometimes is as fast as it fizzles out. Sometimes it's like in that energy of not wanting to commit and not wanting to settle down. What does Gemini need to embrace? Yeah, this time alone. Do some soul searching. Gemini, I preach about journaling and meditating. Spend some time alone. Spend some time in solitude. Just journal. Write out, write what is in your heart, what's in your mind. Do it after meditation, after a clear, like a clear energy going through you, a clearer mind. Sometimes the messages you're writing down are messages from spirit or messages from the universe. But it will give you that clarity that you need, that guidance that you need. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But look, there's a brand new beginning on the horizons. One that's going to be a success. And I have to say, I feel it's because you stood your ground. After the walking away, you became tough. Not that you weren't tough in the beginning. For all those people, I was tough. You became tougher. You decided that you were going to hold that sword up and cut out what was truly not meant for you. You know, it's like, you know what you're going to resonate with and you're not going to take any other offer it's like you're not backing down from this give me one second guys let me turn on my all right please clarify the nine of swords energy the gemini's energy yeah you went silent they walked away and you went silent you're still in your head about it. It's not like you truly have moved on because you're definitely missing them. You're definitely missing this connection. Why is the four of coins here with the sun? Yeah, they had you on the outside looking in. They might have ghosted you, but they were definitely holding back. And now they want to have balance here. They're going to come rushing in. Why the Ace of Coins and the Page of Cups? 
Look, these both came out in reverse. See, not wanting to make a choice. The ace, the king of needles, which is the king of swords, and the seven of potions, which is the seven of cups that offers the choices, not wanting to make a choice. But now here comes the offer. Now here comes what's fated. So if this is someone that you're missing that's returning, this is fated. This is divinely guided. You can trust it. It was meant for you to meet in that energy to probably grow, to probably, um, you know, work on yourselves but it's faded. So they were meant to be on your path. And if this is a new person coming towards you after a time of a broken heart, after a time of really missing someone and being in your head about them, this new person coming towards you is faded. Why is the Ten of Swords here? You have planted the seeds along your journey all the way up until this point with this person that you're missing, with the this very slow path that you're traveling towards, towards your wish fulfillment. You've planted the seeds and now something is coming to fruition. This ending is so something, so there could be growth on something that's truly meant for you. Okay, there we go. I do feel like this person is, they're traveling back to you to tell you that they love you, to tell you that they see their two of cups with you, to have this union. You could have very well been married to them and divorced or maybe going through a separation and the, like the papers have already been submitted. And it's now like you, you're, both of you are thinking twice about this. You could be living together and maybe ending like a, you might have been living together and ending like a, a lease or something that both of your names are on. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. And what is this Palace of Swords in Gemini's future? Yeah, see, you took that time to soul search. You know what your ships are coming in. You know what your truest desires are. And now you're very clear on what you want. I feel like you're coming, even if this person comes towards you, it's like you're going to instinctively know that their energy is different and that they've worked on themselves. You're going to know what you're going to tolerate and what you're going to put your sword back up for. You may be missing someone, but like I said, you're moving towards them with a clearer mind. You're not living in an illusion. And what's coming towards you, like I said, what they're bringing is faded. You don't have to worry about it because it was meant to be on your path. The wheel's turning in your favor. New beginnings. Look how cute this picture is. I just got this deck. Fresh start, new beginnings. Rapid growth. Pay attention to seeing a cardinal because it says cardinal right here. A cardinal, for those of you that it's a red bird. Friends, you would not believe the questions I get. Well, what is a, a cardinal is a red bird? Friendship, group, soul, tribe. This person is going to want to come together and work as a team. I really feel like they have overcome some They've overcome whatever it was that they were struggling with, whatever it was that was holding them back from coming towards you. But like I said, you got free will. So it's like, you know, go with your instincts on this. What they're, yeah, you miss them, but the energy they're coming in, 
with? Is it different? Is it, do they got something to back up what they're saying? Or are they going to put the fight in and prove it to you? Because at one point, this was very stressful for you. Very anxiety stricken, sleepless nights. Gave you a headache. But like I said, it's like you put that sword up so you're very structured. You've put made a lot of growth within yourself and you're not gonna let it you're not gonna let anyone throw you off balance. Any offer, anyone. Anything else? This one wasn't supposed to go with it. Here's that yoga. Here is that four of needles. That's soul searching right here. See how it fell up together? They could be traveling towards you. They might need to take a train. But this, this is you remaining on track. You going forward. You not going back in that stale energy, that heartbroken despair energy. You either come to me with the right offer or don't come to me at all. I'm moving on. You either jump on the train I'm going with or you back up and don't let the train hit you. You either leave the baggage on the ground and step on this train with me and we'll start from the beginning. We'll have this brand new fresh start or you stay with on the side with your baggage because it's not coming on my train. Let me know how it resonates, Gemini. I will be back for many more readings. Um, have a great rest of your week and stay safe.